Now, if you're looking to add your Roomba into Apple HomeKit, the biggest pain to complete the integration is to get the credentials. You need to run some line of code and then you need to go back and forth and press a combination of buttons. Yuck. But what if I told you with this HomeBridge plugin, you can extract that information in one easy step plus get room by room control and a lot more functionality. Well, it's high time we make the Roomba useful in Apple HomeKit. Now, on a daily basis, one of the things I do is check if there are new plugin releases for the devices I own and most importantly, what new functionality they bring to control that device in Apple HomeKit. So with the Roomba I have, I used to use this plugin, then I moved to this one and depending on the model you have, you can use with more control in Apple HomeKit, simply with no line of code to extract the information. Anyways, if you're in a smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So for all of this to work and integrate your Roomba device into Apple HomeKit, we will need one, an iRobot account that you can find within the app. Two, you will obviously need a Roomba device. In my case, I will be using this 675 Roomba vacuum. Three, and to enable that HomeKit integration, we will be using HomeBridge and I've also left guides in the description to install HomeBridge. Now, I've also broken down the video into three parts with their timestamps in the description. One, we're going to look at which plugin to use to get that rich notification in Apple HomeKit and then added functionality. Two, we're going to go ahead and install and configure the plugin to get the BLID and password automatically as well as add the device into Apple HomeKit and three, a quick HomeKit device demonstration. So let's not waste any more time, like I say, and let's jump into this tutorial. Okay, let's talk about the plugins that you can use for Roomba. If you're using this plugin called HomeBridge Roomba STV, I recommend to uninstall it right now because you don't have monk functionality. Because if you look at the settings, all you have is the BLID and the password and the IP address. And two, you don't get any rich notifications. And three, uh, you don't also get much functionality when you turn off the Roomba. So making the whole usage very limited. And also at the same time, you can see that the plugin was updated last in 2020. So. If you're using this plugin, please uninstall it right now. Now, these are the two plugins you must use with your Roomba to get the rich notifications in Apple HomeKit, as well as um, more control by uh, room by room, or even when you turn off the switch. So these are the two plugins, the HomeBridge iRobot and the HomeBridge Roomba 2. So let's quickly go with this one plugin over here. So when you go with the iRoomba, uh, iRobot plugin, you will see that there are some models that are supported and the ones that are supported, you get room by room control if the vacuum supports it. So in my case, the model 675 is not supported by this plugin. But one good news is, is with this plugin, you can get the credentials, the BLID and password automatically. So these are all of the models that are supported. So it's highlighted as yes. So what do you get with this plugin? Um, you get the on and off control. And also when you have used the off control, you can even uh, pause and dock. You can even pause and stop. So you get a lot more functionality when you turn off the switch. And also natively, when you install this plugin, the switch appears as a fan. You also get notifications uh, and also when it docks and undocks as well as uh, filter contacts if the bin is full, plus room by room control. So uh, if you have rooms already set up in the um, app, as soon as you integrate it with the Apple HomeKit and the HomeBridge plugin, you will see that it creates additional switches. And if it gets stuck, it also enables a sensor. So this is what the uh, plugin brings, the iRobot plugin. Now, just in case, your device is not supported, then you can use the iRobot plugin that gives you the same functionality, enables the sensors, enables those rich notifications. You can do a lot more when you turn off the switch, but you do not get room by room support. So that's the only drawback with this plugin. So these are the two plugins I encourage you to use 
right now and uninstall the homebridge roomba stv now to install the plugin very straightforward so you want to go ahead and look for roomba in the plugin section and i've already gone ahead and installed the homebridge irobot as well as the roomba 2 so to get the blid and the password automatically all you have to do is click on settings follow the instructions so click on continue you want to go ahead and put in your credentials now remember the credentials you can find it within the irobot app there could be a probability you may need to reset your password because you may have forgotten if not very good congrats just go ahead and put in your password now from here all you have to do is click on save and hit restart service give it a couple of seconds once the service is back online you will able to see the information so if you quickly go up over here, you will see that the iRobot has successfully logged in and it's automatically got the accessory popo. That's the name of our vacuum. So if I go to plugins and if I click on the Roomba iRobot plugin, go to settings. And if I click on devices, you will see that right here, it has got the BLID and password automatically. And Here's the BLID and password. And if you have more than one device, you will see that it will show up all of the devices over here. So um, under the device section, you will also provide you the IP address, the model, the MAC address, and also it will show you if it supports room by room support. So if you have this information, if you and if your device supports room uh, multi room support, all you have to do is click on manual configuration, get the BLID password copy the information don't forget to put in a name and you want to check uncheck this automatic configuration put in the ip address now one caution when you use the ip address you want to make sure it's reserved in your router settings so if i go to my unify console network go to devices if i select my roomba you will see that i've given a fixed ip address so it's very important for roomba to function well as well as the plugin so when we go back to the settings you want to go put in the ip address again you can get the information from the devices section so one good thing is it extracts all of this information automatically and then you want to check this room by room support if it doesn't support it leave it as unchecked if yes please check on the box and then you want to go ahead and add in and configure what you want to do when you turn off the switch so these are all of the options the plugin gives you which the roomba-stv wouldn't give you so these are all of the additional settings you want to tweak so when you turn off the switch you can all you can ask it to stop you can ask it to pause and also go back to dock and also uh, find it. So these are the options. And then how you want to see it in Apple HomeKit. So um, if it's turned on, the switch will be turning on. So this allows you to tweak the status in Apple HomeKit as well as uh, in Eve. So you can get a lot more information within the Eve app. And if the bin is full, what kind of sensors you want to enable in Apple HomeKit. So you can get notified when these things happen, even when it gets stuck. So these are all of the configurations you can have. Now, right now, my model doesn't support um, this plugin and neither room to room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the BLID and the um, password and use the other plugin called Roomba 2. So if you go to settings, this is I've already populated. So um, the password and also the contact sensor so i've got two contact sensors enabled you can also enable this and the switches if you want to turn it off you can even uh, enable the home and you can configure these settings as well so that's what uh, you can do with this plugin so in my case it's already saved and if you go to accessories you'll see that uh, one of them is automatically showing them as fan and the other one is showing up as switch so that's how you can quickly configure the Roomba plugin with a lot more functionality. Now, when I go over to HomeKit, so let's open up the Apple Home app, go into my living room. So that's the vacuum there right now. And if you were using the original one, so that's the switch, you will also see all of the sensors. 
Now, if you're using the Roomba plugin, it will show up as a switch, which you have to then configure it as a fan. But if you're using the iRobot, automatically it shows up as a fan switch. So let me go back to the app. These are the accessories that it creates. And then if you go to home settings, you can also enable the sensors if the bin is full or the moment it starts working. So these are all of the added functionality you can use and enable for your home kit. And depending what choice you've added, if you turn on the switch, it would also do that step. So let me open up over here. So I'm using the G4 cam. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to use my iPhone right here and I'm going to turn it on. So that's how it works in Apple HomeKit. And just like that, you can now make your Roomba useful in Apple HomeKit with absolutely no line of code. Plus, depending on the model you have, you can now get room by room control as well as enable rich notifications in Apple HomeKit. Anyways, if you like this video, then I have more HomeBridge tutorials that you can use as well. So feel free to check them out. And while you do that, don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So my friend, until the next time, have a nice day. Cheers and happy automation.